Next, guys, I want to talk about will there be a Death Stranding 2, as in a sequel to Death Stranding, the highly polarizing and very divisive game that is Death Stranding, will there be a sequel to this? Because, guys, I'm one of the people who absolutely loves Death Stranding. I think it's an absolutely incredible game, even though, sure, there's times where it's kind of a little bit slow and boring and whatever the case might be. It is a walking masterpiece, in my opinion, and I know a lot of people out there have given their thoughts on the game and what they think, but those are just my thoughts on the game. I, I feel that it's uh it's a very well put together game and it's uh it's it's kind of a uh, just a walking masterpiece. It's one of those games in which I believe Hideo Kojima did an absolutely incredible job and carefully meticulously constructed this game in a way in which is a game we're going to be talking about for years to come. But that being said, this article was written by Austin Wood from Games Radar, and um, it was written, guys, on September 16th, so obviously before the game officially released, but I thought it was a really cool article because we get some kind of some back history here. Obviously, Hideo Kojima some of the comments he makes, he obviously doesn't know how well the game's going to do or the reception of it. And uh, as far as the numbers are concerned, all that, would a, would a sequel ever get greenlit? That is going to be a conversation for, for an, another day. But that being said, will we see a, and will there be a Death Stranding 2? So a Death Stranding sequel could happen according to Hideo Kojima. I think it's better that I keep it going in a sequel, Kojima says. Now guys, by the way, we're not going to be getting into any spoilers as far as that's concerned about the game. I don't want to get into any of those spoilers. That's going to be, I probably will be doing a spoiler kind of review sort of ordeal in a later podcast after the game's been out a little bit longer, gives people some more time to play the game simply because it's about 50, 60 hour game. So a lot of people need some time to play it. It's only been out, you know, not even a month really. I mean, so obviously we just have to uh, we got to kind of be mindful of that, I guess you could say. So Death Stranding, a game that we finally know considerably more than nothing about, is part of what creator Hideo Kojima calls the strand game genre, which seems to be some sort of networking meets delivery simulator with a supernatural backdrop. Kojima tells GameSpot that in order to really solidify this budding new genre of his, he's already toying with the idea of a Death Stranding sequel, though he's not entirely sure what it would be or indeed if it's really plausible. I'm not really sure, Kojima says, referring to the odds of Death Stranding becoming a series. The most difficult part is when you create something new, you have to create a sequel and then a third version or, or it will not remain as a genre. When this game comes out, there will be a lot of pros and cons, and these elements could become the essence of the core part, but I think it's better that I keep it going in a sequel. So, obviously, guys, when you see that, he's saying that when the game comes out, there's going to be pros and cons, and that's, I mean, he, or, he already knew that it was going to happen. I mean, obviously, there's pros and cons to any game, but... He knew from the very beginning that there's going to be people who don't like this game. There's going to be people who love this game. There's going to be some people in the middle who kind of just go casually at the game. And he knew that from the beginning, which is which is really great. And I'm glad that he knew that. Um, yeah, probably at least 1.5 and then 2. At least so that it remains and people are aware of the genre. There are a lot of other projects that come up like TV dramas and things like that. A lot of pitches come my way. Why I can't say it's definite is because I only have one body. And there are many projects that I have to be involved with. And it's really tough for me physically to do many things at once. Coming from the man behind Metal Gear Solid, a series which spawned such confusing sequels and spinoffs as... Metal Gear Solid 2, Solid Snake, also Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, not to mention Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, Peace Walker, and Ground Zeroes. This talk of doubling down through sequels does carry some weight. That said, Death Stranding isn't out yet, and it's already confusing. Okay, and obviously it is out at this point. But anyways, here's what I'll say. Death Stranding 2 needs to be greenlit right now. Make it right now. <laughs> like, let's get, let's go. Let's start it. I mean, at least at the very least, and I, I said this earlier on in the show, guys, that 
Death Stranding right now, they, they have to have like a post-launch kind of mentality. I'm, I'm sure they've got, you know, plans for, you know, next six months, next year, what, what Death Stranding is going to look like. Are they going to have individual servers? Like you can create your own server kind of like Minecraft. Are you going to be able, like, what's the multiplayer really going to look like? Things of that nature. Um, but a Death Stranding 2, like I said, not getting into spoilers, I would love to see a continuation of this. I, I just would. And maybe they can change things. Maybe there's not quite as much walking. Maybe, you know, it's a little bit more condensed. Who knows? Maybe it's on another planet or it's on our same planet. I mean, just continuations. Those are things that I would love to see. I think that this world that Hideo Kojima has created has unlimited possibilities. I mean, really, if you think about it, I mean, I'm not going to say that it might be as big of a universe as, say, like Star Wars or, you know, Starcraft or something like that, but this could really be something. I I, I think that they could make a series out of Death Stranding, and there's no no doubt about it. This is going to be a game, or if, if they don't do a sequel, they at least do, like, DLC or something of, of along those lines where they have new expansions that come out. You learn more about the story, more about the lore. Uh, they have additions to the multiplayers. Things along those lines, I think, also could make it a very interesting and captivating series to take in. And I would love to see that. I, I really would. I would love to see a Death Stranding 2. I believe we are going to see it somewhere down the road. It might be another, you know, 10 years or so. Who knows? But I think that you give Hideo Kojima some time. You give him those resources that he needs. He will come up with an incredible story to continue onwards uh, with this with this great uh, game and, and genre and uh, the potential of a, of a continuation of it. I would love to see it. I would love to hear from you guys. What would you guys like to see? Would you guys want to see a sequel to this? Like less walking, uh, more of the same, you know, more multiplayer elements. What is it that you guys would want to see if they made a sequel to this? Or would you rather they just focus on Death Stranding? They continue like by doing DLC, you know, patch updates, things of that nature, and then kind of go from there and see see where it kind of goes. I know talking about Death Stranding 2 is so premature because it's not going to come out for so long. But I think that's important that we at least talk about these things right now because this is a game that I, I, I really do think and feel that could really be a, a a series that could be one of the best series ever created. I mean, when we think of iconic series, I mean, Metal Gear Solid's up there, right? I mean, it's one of those really iconic games and iconic series that we think about when we talk about gaming in general. I mean, you think about Halo, you think about Call of Duty, you think about Metal Gear, you think about a lot of these different games that have just absolutely... Um, kind of transcended gaming. And I think Death Stranding is one of those games that could really transcend gaming and take us into the, the next generation of consoles and in the next generation of gaming as a whole. I mean, I would love to see them continue onwards with a sequel. And I'll talk more about that in a later podcast, guys, about, you know, why I would like to see that with, like, spoilers and such. Definitely a conversation for another day. 